I'm gonna go over how to make some cheap and easy catfish jugs for just under a couple of dollars each. What we did differently is we let the hanger come out a few inches longer compared to this one where they're pretty much flush. And what we're hoping to accomplish with this length is when a catfish hooks onto it, we're hoping that it stands up and dances a lot better in the water. Whereas this one, sometimes when they hook on, it's hard to see because with the wake and everything, it just kind of stands like this at times. And these are a lot more cost effective to make compared to these ones made out of PVC pipe. At the end of this video, we'll show you just how well these little wire hanger jugs perform against these PVC jugs. But for now, I'm going to turn this video over to Outdoor Dummy Alex, and he's going to show you how to make one of these coat hanger jugs. So what you do is you just start with this clothes hanger, and then you just slowly unbend it here. Uh, if you need to, use pliers to do that. And then you go down here, just somewhere a little off center there because this piece is longer. Uh, and then you just fold it there. And then you just want to straighten everything else out. There you go. As you can see, it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. It's as long as the ends are close to being even, they can even be uh, an inch or two off. You'll see here in a minute. And then you're going to take your swivel and slide it on one end or the other until it comes down here to the end. And then you'll take your pull noodle. I cut these into approximately nine and three quarter inches uh, long. And these are the thickest ones I could find. You're going to take that end with your swivel and push it down through. Alright, so I'm going to show you a close up of this the best I can without getting my hands in the way. But you can just hold it right here and just bend it around and just shove that closed hanger back into the pool noodle. And then, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see down in through there where I poked it through. And just go reach right in through there and you just twist that up so that way it can't pull out and then also when it's pulling down on this right here it won't pull through right here so last thing you want to do get yourself some of this reflective tape that I have here I got this roll on Amazon we can uh, put a link in the bottom then you want to take and get yourself an approximate measurement. So somewhere around in there, just take your scissors. Scissors is the best, the easiest way I've found to cut this stuff. Press it on there nice and good. So there's only a slight difference in these two. Uh, this one I twist at the end, and this one I have it. Like I said, I don't know which one's going to work better, or if these are even going to work at all. Um, but I'll keep you updated later on. Alright, now that you guys know how we've made these jugs, let's see how they perform out on the water. Side by side, you can see how well the cheap hanger jug performs next to the one made out of PVC pipe. See how they're equally buoyant? And they both dance well in the water when you have a fish on. Anyways, this concludes our video. If this content helped you, give it a thumbs up. Or if you have any questions, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. Please tune in next time here at Outdoor Dummies. Thank you.